this is an introduction to the solar compact generator, which is a hardened, a hard case containing 50 watts of solar panel, which are here attached to each other like an accordion. And they unfold, can be set out in the sun, and plugged into the back of the unit where they will charge the two 18 amp hour batteries. So that's a total of 36 amp hour power. And this power can be taken from the box in two ways. One way is through the front outlets, which are common cigarette lighter outlets like you'd find in a car. And the current voltage can be found on the voltage meter on the front. We have 13.1 volts. So this turns the power on to these front outlets. This turns the power and the meter off. This switch turns the charge controller, which is inside the box. This is the charge controller, which is monitoring the battery. And when the solar panels are plugged in, this will light and show that it's taking power from the solar panels and charging the batteries. When the batteries are fully charged, the charge controller will stop charging so they don't get overcharged. These two batteries are connected together in parallel, so you still have 12 volts, but you double the amperage. Over here on the left, we have a 500 watt pure sine wave inverter. An inverter converts 12 volts from the battery to 110 volts current as you would find in most households. And that current, when it's converted, is come, it, it comes out the back where one can plug in appliances up to 500, a total of 500 watts here in a, in a normal outlet uh, socket as you'd, as you'd find on the wall of your house. And this one is where the 12 volts input from the solar panels comes in to charge the batteries. The way you would use this is if the batteries need to be charged, then the solar panels would be opened up. And they open up like an accordion. And they would be set out in the sun, facing the sun at a perpendicular angle. And they would be connected using the extension cord, which comes with the unit. This extension cord, I believe, is about 15 feet and it connects the solar panels to the input in the back of the box connecting the charge controller to charge the batteries. When the batteries are fully charged and they will register about 13.2 to 13.4 volts on the uh, battery meter on the front, the voltage meter on the front, and when it's fully charged then all one has to do is turn the unit on, plug anything um, that has a cigarette lighter plug on it to charge cell phones or radios or so on. And one can also use these adapters plugged in. And this provides two USB outlets of slightly different amperage, 2.1 amp and 1 amp. Other splitters can be plugged in here that give you three outlets and so on. So you can charge many things at a time as long as you don't overtax the batteries. Coming back to the inside, when one does not need 12 volts, but one needs household current, one simply turns the circuit breaker, which doubles as a switch, and now you see the green light on the inverter showing that we now have 110 volts coming out the back. And to turn it off, simply disconnect the circuit breaker. There's also a fuse for the 12 volt system. Anything plugged into the front of the unit through these cigarette outlets is secured or, or made safer by a fuse, which can be changed. This thing can open, you can change the fuse just like you do the fuses in your car. That's all there is to a solar compact generator. It will power and charge just about any small appliance or device that you would need or use in an emergency. 
obviously you're not going to plug in your refrigerator or your toaster, which require a lot of power. Thank you for your time.